Turn the Tables by Dale Baker and Herschel Medlin. Montage Various, Fade In. Song, Look Out Weekend, Debbie Deb Plays. A, Interior School Gym, Day, Super, 1990. A gentle giant, Carl, 17, 6 foot 6, wearing a black cardigan sweater over white t-shirt with loafer shoes, clean cut and intense eyed, Travis, 17, 6 foot 1, muscular with flat top haircut, camouflage pants and black t-shirt, are DJs mixing records, turntables spin records as stacks of speakers boom out the music, DJ lights flash and twirl as the crowd dances. Song, Killin' Time, Clint Black. B, Interior, Local Country Bar Night. Travis and Carl play country music as a fight breaks out. Travis guards the DJ equipment and punches drunk cowboys that bump into the DJ table. Carl ducks as a beer bottle smashes into the wall. Song, El Sapo, La Sombra. C, Interior, VFW Hall, Night. Carl and Travis play Spanish music at a quinceanera party. The crowd goes wild, line dancing. Song, Run Around, Van Halen. D, Exterior, Desert Party Night. Bonfire rages. Speakers sit on a car as Carl and Travis play rock music. The rocker crowd drinks and plays air guitar to the music. Song, Vision of Love, Mariah Carey. E. Interior, basketball gym, prom night. Slow dance for the king and queen. Travis is dragged from behind the DJ booth by girls as he desperately tries to hold on to the DJ equipment. Travis slow dances with several girls at the same time. Carl keeps an eye out and no girls come for him. Exterior, Globe, Miami, Arizona, day. Hey DJ, world's famous supreme team song plays. Aerial view of Globe, Miami, Arizona. Sprawling open pit copper mines. Cattle grazing on desert ranches. Houses perch on steep hills and winding roads. Blighted homes and businesses stretch along Highway 60, surrounded by tall and treacherous mountain landscapes. Interior, Carl's Room Day. Music was our life. On VHS tape, Carl watches a recording of MTV's DJ Cash Money USA 1988 World Champion and imitates the performer. Carl wears the same light blue jacket. Just as Cash Money spins and continues seamlessly to scratch his record behind his back, Carl does the same on an imaginary record, knocking over his father's VCR. What was that? Carl? Oh, jeez. Carl attempts to reattach broken pieces and then tiptoes out the front door, grabbing his quarter-inch adapter jack necklace. Is everything all right, Carl? Hey, we're pouring that pad tomorrow. Carl? Carl? And MTV are home. Life was so much better back in our days. Exterior, Phoenix City Street, day. Carl's car is a 1978 black Ford LTD two-door with mismatched black paint. Someone had written in silver marker, USS Marauder, on the side. It has a bent frame, transmission problems, and it is huge. The type of car that Don Corleone would use to get rid of a body. Interior, Carl's car day. DJ equipment and vinyl records fill the inside of the car. Carl checks himself in the mirror as I'm Bad, LL Cool J, plays on the stereo. Our cars were bigger, stronger, and built to last. Carl parks his car in front of a Circle K as smoke billows out from the hood. If we wanted to make a phone call, phones were everywhere. Instant communication anywhere. Carl walks up to a payphone on the outside of Circle K. The cord is tattered and the yellow pages are torn out. He picks up one receiver and it is busted. He picks another payphone. Carl inserts a quarter. Cut to exterior Travis Home Workshop Day. Travis' phone rings, but he can't hear it, because it's in his shed. He pounds fence posts in the ground near a horse corral. Back to scene. Carl slams a payphone receiver down. He gets in his car and continues driving. If you wanted to see a movie that was not in the theater, you'd wait years for it to play on TBS. Or you might be able to rent a VHS tape at your local mom and pop video store. We would watch night tracks to see our favorite music videos. 
music was the key to our souls. Back then, music was just as instantly available as it is today. It was at the tip of our fingers. Interior record store day. Carl stands in a long line holding records. I want to dance with somebody, Whitney Houston. Pump up the volume, Mars. And control, Janet Jackson. All with $15 price tags. A cashier furiously rings up customers buying records. Interior, Carl's car day. Carl is driving and is unsuccessfully trying to put a cassette in the car's tape deck. Back then, you had to fight for what you wanted. Not that fighting is good, but we did fight to make things right. We fought for our honor. We fought for a girl's honor. That's just the way it was. Everything was a struggle. Travis would always say misery makes the best stories. Carl gets the tape to play after putting a book of matches under the cassette tape to make it fit. I didn't mean to turn you on. Robert Palmer plays. If you wanted to hear a new song that wasn't played on the radio yet, you went to dance to hear it from a mobile DJ. It was your responsibility to show up. It was the DJ's responsibility to show you a good time. Interior DJ Competition Day. Super Arizona Regional DJ Competition 1990. Songs. Big Fun. Inner City. I Want You. Shanna. Take Me In Your Arms. Little Susie. West End Girls. Pet Shop Boys. Gonna Make You Sweat. CNC Music Factory, and Funky Little Beat, Connie. Various DJs mix records on a massive stage as the crowd cheers. The music fades from a mix that is being performed live on stage as PV speakers boom. The MC40, Tuxedo with Tails, walks onto the stage as DJ Scalpel starts placing his records back in crates. Give a round of applause for DJ Scalpel! DJ Scalpel pushes his gear off stage. Carl quickly sets up his electronic gear. Carl is wearing a necklace with a quarter inch adapter jack attached to it. He kisses it and tucks it away. The audience looks on. The next act in the Arizona Regional DJ Battle is Unique Technique featuring DJ Optic and DJ Young Gun. Carl walks over to the MC. It's only me today, DJ Optic. Correction, today we have DJ Optic on the wheels of steel. Are you ready to go? Carl stretches his arms and shakes his hands to loosen up. He stands in front of the two Technics 1200 turntables and looks over at the second set of turntables on the stand next to him. PV amps and speakers line the stage. He nods that he is ready. DJ Optic, time to give us six minutes of funk. Take it away! Carl places his hand on the record and clicks the power on the turntable. He slides the fader on the mixer between the turntables and starts his mix. Songs. Around the Way, Girl, LL Cool J. Nicety, Michelle. Strike It Up, Black Box. Joy and Pain, Rob Bass. And DJ Easy Rock. The beats are matching as he works with precision. The audience dances with the music and jumps to the beats. In the stage area and out of sight stands Roger, 17. His jeans rolled at the cuffs, wearing a golf cap and earring, laughs as he glares at Carl. Roger looks at the crew in the audience. Josh, leader, 23, gives Roger a thumbs up. Kevin, 17, Jeremy, 17, and Joe, 17, wear fashion clothing, muscle heads. Don't choke, you joke! Carl looks to the table next to him. He loses a beat on the mix as he quickly tries to correct it when the record skips. He tries a body spin maneuver and trips. The audience gasps. Roger removes gum from his mouth and throws it onto Carl's spinning record. Carl swipes his hand at the gum and knocks his record onto the floor. The crew cheers. Exterior. <coughs> Travis Home Workshop. Day. We see a small ranch with horses, various animals, surrounded by various sheds of all sizes. There is also a large automotive shop surrounded with numerous vehicles in different states of repair. Travis furiously boxes and kicks a punching bag hanging from just inside an automotive shop. He has a dark bruise on the left side of his face. Henry, 52, gray hair, short but muscular, heavy drinker with anger to go along with it walks out of the house. Get your ass out there and get back to work. 
Interior DJ competition day later. The contestants stand in line on the stage. Carl stands with his head down. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. The turntablist that will represent Arizona in the 1990 National DJ Battle in L.A. is... DJ Heartbreak, representing the crew. Roger pushes through the line and nearly knocks the other contestants down. The crew jumps on the stage and flanks Roger. This check from Technics Incorporated, maker of the best turntables in the world. It is for $10,000. Let's all hear it for DJ Heartbreak. Exterior DJ competition parking lot. Carl loads immaculate DJ equipment into his car. The crew walks up behind Carl. Roger is holding giant oversized check. Joe pulls out his personal checkbook. No hot feelings. Here, let me give you a little something to you to wipe away your tears with. You should know better than to go up against the crew. Joe writes Carl a check for one dollar and drops it at Carl's feet. There's always next year. Peace. Exterior, Travis's home fence line, day. Covered in dirt, sweaty Travis drives another fence post hard into the ground. Carl exits his hatchback. Hey, loser. I really needed you there today. You know what I was doing. Yeah? It just sucks, man. We did win a little something, though. Carl shows Travis Joe's check. The check has obvious extra zeros written on it. You know, I'm cashing this, right? From down the fence line, an inebriated Henry appears. Win? You talking about winning something with Travis? Henry chucks an empty beer can that hits Travis in the back of the head. Henry walks down the fence line. He pauses and kicks Travis's passenger side door on his car. 1982 Mercury links hatchback with primer paint spots. Travis stares in anger as Henry walks inside the house. I am so tired of him. If you think life sucks now, just wait till boot camp. Besides, that door needs a new paint job anyways. 